Zo. Hey guys, Heidi Furkan hier. En dit is de nieuwe update. We have the new update called the WeCharge app. Uh, it has been start releasing uh, last Thursday, so when this video goes online, that is uh, four days ago. And basically, it's the first time that Volkswagen yeah releases a new application for the id cars um, and it's called recharge what it does now what does it say recharge details of the charging stations on the map availability on the charging power distance from the current location uh, charging station filter options charging speed stations part of the recharge plan and network okay now that is our step this is what we get as software update. Now we press update. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna drive and show you uh, the new uh, update functionality. Now, that is interesting and that's normal. So the update is done. Uh, we are going to close the car for five minutes and then return to uh, to see what the app does currently in this state. Let's go and see what the updates looks like. And that is like, let's see, I'm interested. Software complete, great. So what it was is a new application and it's right there. No, nothing new, nothing different. This is a big step for Volkswagen because this is the first application they pushed through OTA. But why this is so important is because this is the time they, they can expand the functionality of the infotainment with new options or new things or new possibilities. But when we press on it, what it will be is an application that is looking around uh, the place you are currently in and search for chargers, chargers which may or may not available depending on the information the charger is giving to the world so if it's a connected charger it can give you the uh, information if a charger is charger is being used charger uh, occupied charger being uh, uh, empty or charging even being offline okay try again i may be the first one which gives an error which would be sad after a few errors, I started driving and see if that will fix my startup errors with recharge. We are now almost at full reception, so let's see if it's still buggy. And it's not. Cheers. So it was really a connection error. Uh, yeah, that is handy and software version 2.7 for the recharge and now we are ready let me search some safe place and then i will uh, look for the update after a few days of using recharge i'm now ready to talk about it so it was some days ago when we received the recharge uh, app uh, after a few days i think i'm ready to explain everything I know about this little app, but there's not much. So, shall we start? Good. As usual, we are starting the app. It's loading the app. It's still loading the app. But, every time you are starting the app again, so actually every time you step in the car and you start the recharge app, you need to give uh, permission to use your uh, 
location. So actually it's the same as uh, pressing online mode to give permission that you're online and being tracked. We will still keep pressing accept till we will uh, receive uh, profiles where you can uh, give permission to be tracked. Till then, you're gonna press daily on accept. So let's talk about VCharge. Uh, when you're somewhere and you give permission, let's say where you are, zoom in right here and press search here, you will, it will find chargers around you. Now you can see if it's available by, if it's red, now if it's red, all the chargers are full. And if it's green, it's available. One or two chargers are available. And this is two, two out of two. And if we go closer, it should say, I think this was one out of two available. Now, if it's available, nice. Uh, great thing about WeCharge is it's showing almost in real time the availability of the chargers. There are some options with this app, uh, like filtering for a higher power charging. Which may be easier if you're looking at, uh, let's say, Utrecht, which is right here. Now, if you press zoom out, if you press search, it will find almost everything which is available. But if you're a tourist and you want uh, a fast charger uh, really quick around of you, you don't need an 11 or 22 kilowatt charger. Just press on the filtering, just say, let's say 100, press X and you will see immediately some chargers. A thing you need to know about this application, use it as a charge planner. It's currently pure a database with maps, with Google Maps. So you can just look around where the 100 plus kilowatt chargers are and look if it's on your route and say, uh, I wanna go there, somewhere there, and I want to go charge there. Uh, start navigation. And that's it. I want to try something is by going to Perry. I want to add a new destination uh, in the recharge and see if it's used that destination as a charging stop. Now, currently it says uh, I need two charging stops at uh, New Motion and somewhere in France. I don't know where, but it's going well. Now, but I'm going back. I say I go to recharge, but I want to charge at Cross, go back, go back, go back. Let's go to FastNet in Brussels. Should be right here. I think, zoom out. Brussels there, somewhere here is a FastNet. I'm sure. Is this? Yes. I want to charge there. Start navigation. What does it say? As start over, stop over, and see if it works. It's still not using it as a charger. How stupid it sounds. Because it's not a charge planner. It's only a charge database. So you look around and search for a charger. But there is currently no connection between the database, which you can use in the recharge, with the navigation, which is sad. Because if I press on destination and go to search, if I go to destination and press search, there's a new option on your uh, stuff, and that's right here. If you press on it, it will start uh, the recharge. Now, as you can see, I need still need to accept it again. Now we accept it. But you see, you saw when I pressed uh, destinations, search, and pressing here again, it's just charge starting the app up and you can just say, I wanna go there. There. Start. Direct. And that's it, basically. That is the world app. I hope you see the positive side of this new app.
because the app is not that big. But it's an important first step for the future of the ID software. Yes, I agree. It's still not the best. I agree. It's still running far behind. But they made the first step of making the software faster with 2.3. And this is the first step with adding new functionality to the car. It's small steps, baby steps. Yes, not much, but these are the first important steps. One last thing. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to this channel. It's free. And on the plus side, you see when I upload new content. For now, thanks for watching and I see you again in my next video. Later!